the time of the Jazz Jack Rabbits and the Bonkers. A hero rose to jump on bees and collect coins. That hero was Super Frog. Hello, welcome to Anvil Place. We're playing some gosh darn Super Frog HD. Now the story is of course very advanced with a very deep sense of lore. You're a prince that got turned into a frog and you're saving the princess from an evil witch. Adventure! Now the first thing you'll notice about Super Frog is that everyone looks like they're fucking tripping. I mean look at that tree! Look at that tree and he's following you with your with his eyes. He's like <laughs> I'm so high right now, I'm seeing flat frogs with capes and shit. <laughs> and then there's the bees who look like oh shit, they look like they've seen some shit. They just go whoop. I go whoop, 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 whoop. Now Super Frog is of course a very old game. It's a remake of um of Super Frog. Well, um, for the PC, I guess, DOS, at some point, uh, and Amiga, I think it came out for the Amiga as well, um, and it's basically just basic platformer from that era. It was made in that era, you know, there was a, an era where, uh, all Everyone tried to do their own like mascot character because Sonic had done so well and uh In this game you are is a frog that jump on blueberries apparently for whatever reason blueberries and bees Look at this it's a I don't really have any other word for it it's a blueberry isn't it Looks like a blueberry Bouncing blueberry with an eye. Maybe it's blue balls. I really think I have more integrity than just calling them blue balls. Except I just did. Uh, oh well. Now I didn't actually grow up on uh, Super Frog. I did grow up on Jazz Jack Rabbit and Commander Keen. Uh, but uh, Super Frog never passed my way. I just got this game um, as part of uh, a bundle on uh, Humble Bundle. They did at one point where you got all the Worms games and then this one. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun game. I mean, if you like platformers, which I do, there really isn't anything else to say about it. I mean, it's not science. It does have a pretty happy sun, though. Look at that shit. Though I have to say, like, um... The enemies in this game... <laughs> I mean... Don't they just bring to mind the greatest... Character designs of all time. Greatest character designs. Batman. <laughs> Spider-Man. Captain America. The fat bees from Super Frog that looks like they're tripping on something. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was... This was back when uh, platform games were pretty much a dime a dozen. I mean, everyone did their own platformer. Very few game game companies actually try to not do one. At least that's how I felt it was. Like, I think Microprose was one of the very few that didn't actually do a mascot game. I may be wrong. Um, Microprose, if you don't know, uh, were the ones that would later become uh, Microsoft games. Uh, 
it was of course a part of, of Microsoft and uh, then they just changed the name to just say Microsoft for whatever reason. Um, and they did like, uh, they were the publishers for uh, Civilization 2. I missed other games, like, but, but Civilization 2 is the one I remember best because I love Civilization. Now look what you, look what you look at that. Look at how freaking cute that hedgehog is. Look at it! With the little legs. The little cute legs and little things with the big eyes. And here we go. And here we go. And gold coins and red thing. And bouncy bounce! Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, but I don't really know why I am. Why the people who made worms felt the need to uh to make a platformer. I mean worms is at least I remember them as being one of the most classic franchises on the PC. At least at a point. I don't know if it's still I mean yeah, worms games are still being made, but it's not really something people talk that much about. Because it got kind of gimmicky. I mean, at the point you got Worms Golf, you have to ask yourself, how would that actually work? I have it though. Uh, I've never booted it, so I might do it at some point as a one-off. Worms isn't actually a story-driven game, so I don't really know how it would fit for my channel. But I'll do it. I'll take a look at it. I'll yeah, at some point, I guess. Um. Shit, what the? He got fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, but uh, I felt like, oh, uh, well, I haven't done a platformer in a while. And I love platformers, it's like one of my favorite game genres, so, uh, let's do a platformer. And lo and behold, I found out I had Super Frog. That's why we're doing Super Frog. Ah, uh, exit. Level complete. I don't really know why they um they put in like a star system, like like in Angry Birds for whatever reason. But yeah, this world. I mean, this kingdom. Everyone has giant eyes and is tripping as fuck. Are we sure the witch is actually the bad guy? Bad girl? Sure, the w she didn't actually just bring the prince to justice by turning him into a frog. I mean, if he was the leader of this kingdom before, uh, before the witch showed up, I'm guessing he's the one that gave all the animals drugs for whatever reason. I guess he was driving too. Might might find it kind of funny, for whatever reason. Got on you, witch! Uh, where am I going? Yeah, this is one of those games where, um, even though it's a platformer, it's, it should be the simplest thing <laughs> in the world. You can get kind of lost because, well, the stages are humongous! It's not really, it's not like the Mario games or the Sonic games where, um, oh, there's the exit that way, okay. Where everything is kind of just a, go left. Ow! It does have some, you know, it does have a lot of traditional gaming conventions back when they weren't frowned upon as much as they are today. But at the same time, like, look at this stage. This stage is enormous! Did all PCs really have this much processing power? 
I mean, okay, I know the graphics weren't as impressive back then, and I mean, this is HD, but still, what the hell? It was the same thing with Chess Jack Rabbit. Chess Jack Rabbit had ginormous levels. Oh, and I'm back where I started. Well, as I said, this is where the, the, this is one of those games where I get lost. <laughs> I don't really need I mean I didn't grow up on Super Frog. Um so if you grew up on Super Frog you might be like face palming a lot right now, I'm sorry. I'm just a human. Or am I? Am I indeed not actually a frog? An amazing frog? Oh well. Up we go. Uh, and these green things. You can throw your balls at people. And apparently your balls have eyes. The balls are alive with the sound of bees. Bees. I'm not going down there again. It's kind of getting, getting kind of redundant to jump down there. See. Here we go. Upward and upwards. Onward and upwards. Oh god damn it. I'm lost. I'm very lost. I don't know where to go. Yeah, exit that way. Yeah, I can see that, but what way actually? Uh, wait, really? Not a very nice hedgehog, by the way. Okay, we're trying going up there again. And then I'm back here again. <laughs> Not fond of it. Not fond of it. I'm completely. I'm really sorry about this. I'm completely lost. Where do I go? How do I get there? Can I jump over? Nope. That didn't work. There's something over there, but I can't get there. What if I go this way then? And here? Do we want to be underground? Are we all hip and underground now? Ow! Dude, what the hell? Stupid blue balls. For whatever reason, like they're jumping in place are actually adorable, but those blueberry thingies, they really get to me in this game. By the way, this gameplay will be um, semi blind, as I'm sure you have already guessed. I've uh, I've tried the first three worlds. Um, actually, in the form of recording, that didn't go anywhere, so... Uh, which is now lost to all time, because the microphone didn't pick up my voice. I know how much you like listening to my voice. Eh? Eh? What the hell? Okay, there we go. Gosh darn it. Oh, we're not doing gambling. Okay, let's see. Danger that way out, God. I am the daring, amazing. By the way, I had to ask myself. Um. 
He's a prince, right? In the medieval kingdom. And he's calling himself Super Frog and wearing a cape. Where would he get that idea from? What's so heroic about capes in the medieval time? No. Can I jump down there? No, okay. Let me go this way. Ah, shit, man. Oh man, the age old the age old design way of blind jumps. Leaps of faith and such. And evil bees. Evil fat bees. Give us some of your honey bees. Ow! Look at that fat bee! I mean, I'm fat, but... I'm not staring into the nether like that. Those bees are tripping on something fierce. Along with the hedgehogs. All the hedgehogs. What? No! This way. That's cruel, just putting a hole in the middle of the road. Ugh. Shit. Die, blueberry scum. I'm trying to get to red bear. Whoa. What? What? What are you? Dead. That's what you are. That's what you all are to me. I don't know what all these symbols mean, but I do know they look delicious. I just never heard of a frog that eats bananas. Bears eat bananas, just ask the Muppets, but frogs? Frogs do not eat bananas. Just saying. Oh. God damn it! Die, witchy witch! You're a mean witch, witch. On names, witch. Not like Gruntilda, eh? The less famous video game witch. The hipster witch. Not even very black. I just purple is the new black or something. Also, all of this... All of this game looks like a flash animation from the n late 1990s or the early 2000s. Remember that era? Where everyone was doing Taliban animations? And now, the castle, with the scary, scary bats! Run, Super Frog! Ooh, the spooky house! Ah, oh, yes, my ancestor, William Wallace the Frog. Yeah. Holy shit, I just blew his face off. Did you see that? There was a face on that thing. Creepy face of that. Ugh. This really is the spooky house. Okay. I mean, I'm. S I, I, I call this a castle because it really does not look like a house. It looks like a castle. Look at that face! Look at that face! Look at that! It's tripping balls, man! <laughs> Thank you for being inside me. I will always love you inside me. <laughs> Good time, scary house. Spooky house. You're spooky for all the wrong reasons. What the fuck is that? Bouncy meatball shit? Oh, shit. Spooky. How can anyone live in this house? When it's so spooky. Look at us! 
It's everywhere! The face! That horrible face. Follow me around. There's something dark in that face. There's something dark in that eyes. And that slime slingy there. Yeah? You know, I always had a problem with slingies. On that, that what they call those little, uh, like springs you put on uh, your, your play wet are usually rainbow colored. Like I, I never could, like it's, it's you're supposed to like make put them on a staircase, and then they go down the stairs. I could never get that to work. They always took like one stair and then they just kind of stopped, fall over to the side. Maybe I did it wrong, but I never could get it to work. Slinkies, you are full of lies! And I guess that slime slingy wasn't, wouldn't be much better either. Anyway, it's about time to stop for this time. Thank you for watching this episode of Fang for Plays. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time. Bye!